Hello! Welcome to episode 231 of the Craft House Magic Podcast. My name's Ellie and I'm coming to you from Norwich in Norfolk in the UK and today is the 10th of November. So welcome everybody. I hope you all had a lovely crafty week since the last time I've spoken to you and I'm here to share all the things that I've been making in the last seven days. So today I have some knitting to show you which is two new patterns that are coming out in December. I have a gadget. I have some confessions. Oh dear. <laughs> I have some information on my shop update and a little appearance from Jensen at the end of the podcast. So we've got two make-alongs going on the Ravelry group and on Instagram. They are Craft 20 a Day and also the Craft House Magic Christmas Craft Along. I've left information in the description box about the hashtags to use on Instagram and also links to the Ravelry groups as well. So the person who won the October subscriber giveaway didn't get back to me last time. Um, so I'm going to draw it again. So the new winner is, actually the person hasn't got a name, I've just got their email address address so I will email you and it's somebody in the UK um, to let you know that you've won the subscriber giveaway. Um, I've also drawn the November uh, Yarn Club giveaway is Suzanne from Canada so congratulations Suzanne I'll pop you an email just to confirm your delivery address um, so that I can get that posted out to you. So in my knitting section I've got two new patterns to show you. So these two patterns are going hand in hand with the Jolly Jingles sock kits and the advent calendars that were up for sale this year. So if you don't want to see what the patterns are, skip along to the next section, um, which will be the gadget section, if you don't want to see what they are. If you do, stay tuned. So first of all, I've got a sock pattern to show you. So this is the Jolly Jingles sock pattern and it is available on both fingering or four ply weight yarn and DK yarn as well. So this one's actually in four ply yarn and it's knitted in my I Will Always Love You colourway um, with the contrast mini that's available with it. But the pattern is called Jolly Jingles and it's got these lines of faux cables that are representing um, jingle bells. Um, so I thought I'd include something that was a little bit festive. And it's combined with some one by one rib and a different rib um, that sort of blends in to the faux cables quite nicely. So this is quite a short version of the sock. I have left instructions so that you can make it a little bit longer if you do like a longer sock. But I do tend to like a shorter sock for me. So the pattern is designed so all the sort of detail bit is at the top here. So actually if you cast it on at Christmas, if you get like a couple of evenings you can get the difficult bit done and the rest is pretty easy um, to just knit um, and relax and have a bit of have a glass of mulled wine and a chocolate. <laughs> so that is why I've designed it like this. So I've designed it so you can actually use multiple sort of different stitch counts according to what you normally choose for a sock yarn and you can pick out of those um, which you normally use. I've used a 2.5 millimeter needle for the pattern and I've given gauge um, in the instructions and I've told you what the sizes are according to the gauge that I get and you can modify your needle size accordingly. Um, I give more detailed instructions of how to get them to fit in the pattern itself and also I've got a YouTube video which tells you how to get socks to fit perfectly. So there we go, that is the new sock pattern. It will be out on the 1st of December for everybody but those of you who already purchased the Jolly Jingles um, sock yarn and bag set which isn't this yarn you guys will get it a little bit earlier in the later part of November so that is it so this colorway is I will always love you on my Stellina and Merino and nylon sock base um, I just wanted something sort of a bit frosty for this particular one but I'm thinking that I'm gonna do a different color um, in a new Christmas colorway hopefully get that started by next week we shall see. So there we go, that is my new sock pattern and I have a new cowl pattern as well which is coming out again for everybody on the 1st of December but those of you who bought an advent calendar you'll get an email with the pattern in in the later part of November. So first of all I'm going to show you a cowl that I finished which is almost like a finished cowl but it's sort of my work in progress where I've made some modifications to it. So this is the first version I did and it's got multiple different patterns on. I decided actually after it was completed that I didn't like too many different patterns in there. I just wanted to have um, sort of one and the one that I really liked was this one here. So that is what the cowl pattern is going to look like. Um, and it's gonna be a tube like this and you can wear it wrapped around your neck. 
so I will put mine on so it's knitted as a tube and you can double it over like this this version I have actually done a little bit wider in the tube but actually slightly shorter than the final version um, but that's how it would look doubled over you've got several options with this cowl this is a double wrap cowl version and I've used fingering weight yarn for this but you will also have an option to use DK yarn so I've done the numbers for DK um, and do a, a single wrap or a double wrap so you've got multiple options there you could do it in mini skeins and I've given you sort of instructions of what to do for different sizes of mini skein this particular cowl even though some of it is like the different patterns as well the general overall shape is the same um, I've used 12 20 gram minis and I've actually done the start stripes twice on this and the minis that I've used for this cowl or my love changes everything set and my fade to grey set just there so there's two mini sets with six minis in each um, for this one so this was my beginning sort of getting an idea of how exactly I wanted to do the cowl and then I've done a second one in DK yarn which is a single wrap cowl now this one is actually in the colours in the advent so I'm going to do an effect on the screen so it goes black and white so that you can't see the colourways and it won't spoil for you um, opening up your yarn advent colours but I wanted you to see a DK version with a single wrap so this is the DK version with a single wrap it has got the same sort of zigzag design all the way round, which I think finishes it off really nicely. Um, I'm going to, well, I'm, I've already started, which I'll show you in a minute, one that is one colour, just so you can see what it looks like when you haven't got different colours of minis all the way round. But hopefully you'll be able to see the pattern there. And this is a single wrap one. And this is the final length actually for a single wrap cowl. I think this is just nice because if you get a little bit hot um, and you don't want it right around your neck, you can sort of pull it down a little bit away from your skin because I'm very sensitive to getting a bit too hot. Say if you're going shopping or something, you want to be able to sort of move it away from your neck. But for me, this was the perfect length of cowl. So this is the DK version, like I said. I've done the instructions for both the fingering, four ply weight and the DK version for the single wrap and also the double wrap as well, like the length I showed you just now. So this one, um, I've obviously used minis, um, but you can just use one colour if you want. Or, I've, because you're only knitting around in this circumference all the way around to make this tube because you're doing that you can actually use little scraps of yarn and just knit until you've got about six inches left start the new one and you'll have different um, different thickness of stripes but it'll be really individual and you get to use every scrap of yarn up so that's why I thought this would be a good idea for an advent pattern so I have got those finished but I do have one that's on the needles, which is a fingering weight one in one colour. And it is this one. So that is what the pattern looks like in fingering weight yarn. Obviously these zigzags are a little bit sort of closer together because the stitches are a little bit smaller. But it's the same pattern overall. So this one I'm going to do a double wrap um, fingering weight yarn. I think that because... Um, the DK is so thick anyway and you've got two layers that's why I decided to do a single wrap for the DK one but because the fingering weight yarn is a bit lighter I can get away with the double wrap one for me if you're a person that gets really really cold you'll probably be able to get away with a double wrap DK one as well but all the calculations are going to be in the pattern this one's knitted in my never-ending story colorway um, which is all sort of purples um, all mixed together with a bit of grey there um, so I think that'll be really nice so this one here, if you can actually see, this one's obviously been blocked, the first one I showed you. There is a slight difference in the width, so I modified it to make it a little bit narrower and a little bit longer so that it wouldn't sit so tightly on your neck, so you've got a little bit of breathing room there. But you can actually modify the width of the cowl to whatever you really fancy, but I have done the calculations to what I think um, sort of fits best and is more, most comfortable for me. So that is my design for the advent. Of course, if you haven't purchased the advent for this year, then you can just purchase the pattern um, separately to use up all those minis or just minis out of your stash or 
just a, a whole skein it's absolutely up to you i wanted it to be quite a versatile piece and be something that you can wear sort of every day those are the two patterns i'm i'm gonna have um going up on ravelry and on my website on the first of december so there we go that is the knitting that i've got to show you i do have a gadget for this week i'm very very excited about this so i tend to follow mrs hinch on instagram and i like to look at her sort of little cleaning videos and ways to store stuff away and i saw this caddy and i thought oh I love it I love it so I bought this from Tesco's it's from the Mrs Hinch range it's got a little heart in the corner um, and that's what the label looks like and I just thought that was a nice clean tin that you can pop your craft supplies in so it's got a wooden handle that can be put down the side and I've just popped some of my sort of tart and Christmassy um, fabrics in there and you could pop all your sort of bits and bobs that you're using for a particular project in there so I thought that was really nice so that one was I think it was eight pounds from Tesco's um, so that is that is something that I think that a lot of crafters would appreciate a bit of crafty storage <laughs> it is in size 25.5 centimeters by 20.9 centimeters by 10.4 centimeters so it isn't a massive caddy but ideal for sort of containing projects and fabric and yarn so that is my gadget but I have some to be honest, they're not very guilty confessions because it's fabric to make Adam something. So it's, to be honest, it's pretty boring as well. It's grey jersey fabric. Ta-da! And this is from Minerva Crafts because I was looking for quite a sort of plain grey jersey that wasn't sort of too expensive. And this came up um, and I purchased a meter and a half from Minerva Crafts. They always give you some handy little labels, which I think is nice, um, which tells you sort of the meterage and the order ID and the code of the particular fabric that you've bought, which is brilliant. And I will leave a link to the exact fabric on Minerva Crafts as well. I'm not actually a member of, they do like a club that you can pay a yearly subscription for and get so much money off, but I don't that purchase that much from Minerva Crafts, so I've never bothered um, to join myself, but it's a sort of medium weight um, grey jersey fabric. I've not washed this yet, so I'll let you know what it's like when I've washed it and made it up into a thing. <laughs> um, but they did send me a little, but they did send me a little tag that you can sew onto your clothes which i thought was quite good it's like one of those um woven tags so that came with my order with some information on the the um, minerva crafts club as well um but i have got that it seems a relatively sort of lightweight and it feels quite a nice um gray jersey so we shall see what that's like they do seem to offer it in lots of different colors so if it is a good one um i'll bear it in mind for future projects for um things that i need sort of solid jersey for so there we go. I'm going to make the Hudson pants by True Bias for Adam as a pair of sleeping pyjamas, really. My next section is shop update. I've actually left the yarn clubs for this month open and I'm going to leave them open till tomorrow morning when I dye them. Um, so if you do want them and you're watching the podcast now and it's just come up on the on YouTube, you might be able to get um, one of the yarn clubs for November. That's the Mixtape Minis or the Power Ballad Sock Club. But they will be taken down tomorrow morning so i've got some exciting fabric packs that are going to go in the shop so first of all i saw these i saw these layer cakes it's not actually packaged in a layer cake it's sort of like this sandwich i can i suppose it can be posted easier but there's a number of gorgeous fabrics it's got a, a red fabric with these ice skates on the front for the main fabric and there's a whole host if i just take one of the strips off there's a whole host of different fabrics that go together um with this set which I love because you know that it all goes together then. Um, but this is one I fancied doing a table runner with. Um, and there's sort of creams and greens in there. In the photographs, I'll try and get pictures of all the different fabrics so that you can see exactly what you're getting. Um, but they're really pretty. And it's a sort of a muted Christmassy colour palette. So I thought, wow. I shall stock some of those in the shop steal one for myself <laughs> so you get two strips like this um and it comes to the equivalent i think of several meters of fabric altogether but it's already cut into strips that you can do um designs with strips in 
so that's the first set that I've got in. Now these other ones are going to be fat quarter packs, um, but if you buy like two fat quarter packs, I will cut it as a continuous length. So there's a pack of gnome related fabrics. So I'll go through them one by one, but I thought they go together really nicely. And what I'm going to do actually is with the, um, I've got three different sort of Christmassy sets or festive wintery sets anyway, and I'm going to do some patterns during Vlogmas. Um, so that if you if you want to purchase one of these sort of Christmassy sets, you might want to follow along with me. So the first one is gnomes on a black background. There's some stripes with different things with the gnomes on as well. We've got some green candy canes. I really like this one. It's got Christmas trees with gnomes, with gnomes on. Um, so there's that one. We've got some Christmas lights on a blue background. And last of all, we've got the Christmas trees on the blue black background as well. So this is more of a sort of cartoony version of a Christmas set. That would do really nicely if you've got children as well, I think, this one. I was thinking maybe I could make uh, Jensen a big um, stocking or something out of those. So I will actually, what I was going to do is sketch out a stocking pattern and put it with these sets as well. So if you wanted to make the stocking with me, there will be a printed um, outline of the stocking shape. So you can work along with me in Vlogmas making some of these things. This last one is a little bit sort of more subdued and sophisticated. It's like an ice theme. I can pick them up all at once. <laughs> So they're not full bolts these, so there won't be an endless amount of these sets on the website, but I just thought that they'd be really nice to have um, some little sort of Christmas kits to make some festive things. So these are sort of ice theme, and I'll show you those one by one. I think it's really nice to have a set of fabrics that really go together really nicely. You might have seen this fabric on my shop before, because I do have um, this in another bolt that I sell as... Um, as project bag kits and also I make um, bags out of this particular one as well but this is a separate bolt for this set of fabrics um, so they can all go together. I've got this gorgeous winter forest which goes with it nicely and there's like it's sort of like silver birch there which goes with it as well so it's a beautiful frosty set the blue and white so if you don't want things to look too Christmassy it's a really nice set to sort of incorporate a wintry theme there so that is that's going in the shop as well so they'll be listed as a fat quarter pack but like I say if you order multiples they'll be cut as one piece so those three different packs will be in the shop tomorrow so if you want to see when the shop update goes live, don't forget to sign up to my newsletter. If you pop to my website, scroll to the bottom of the page, there's a little box there, you can put your email address in um, and you'll get an email notifications when I put anything new in the shop. But also, actually, I do draw prizes once a month um, and you, you might win a set of the yarn clubs for that month. So um, it's worth subscribing to the newsletter. So last but not least, it's Jensen. So over to you, Jensen. So today, Jensen's going to show you his book cushion, which is just here. And his favourite book is in there, actually. Um, the Snail and the Whale. And it's got some little activities on it um, that you can, you can do. And it's got some little activities on it, like move the whale, etc. So, um, but this is the cushion that was made for us by Angie, and it goes beautifully with our playpen, doesn't it, Adam? It does. <laughs> and we've also dressed Jensen in something that goes with a playpen, and he's trying to get at his favourite book look. Um, but this, but this is a lovely cushion cover, um, which has basically got this pocket just at the front, and this main bit is quilted, and you just pop your book in there, and. Um, he tends to use this to sit on as well in his playpen, um, so it's very useful. And he absolutely loves his books as well, so absolutely perfect. So thank you very much, Jensen. Are you busy reading your book? Thank you, Jensen. Bye-bye. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more and I shall see you in the next episode. Bye!